Hey guys, it's Brittany and welcome back to my channel. First off, I just want to say excuse my appearance. I decided to hop on here last minute. I wanted to show you guys what I picked up. I've been so jealous for months because I see all of these other resellers, their Goodwills have dollar days where everything's a dollar or a specific color is a dollar. And Sunday morning I woke up to a text that said all green, green stemmed or tagged items at my Goodwill were a buck. So I finagled my day a little bit and I went over to the Goodwill and I'm so happy I did. And then I went on their website and I saw that this Sunday, everything with a red tag will be a dollar. So hopefully I'll get a lot of stuff that day too and I can show you. I actually wasn't gonna film a haul this week. That's why this is kind of impromptu. But I started feeling a little bit guilty. I wanna share with you guys what I find so you can look out for them too. Or just, I just feel like I have to share with you guys. You know, you're my friends. So there's a few things I want to show you that are kind of like on trend. I went to JCPenney's today to return some stuff for my daughter. All of the mannequins had on these like burgundy mustard kind of fall colors and I thought wow I did awesome. Now the first piece I'm going to show you actually came from the Goodwill outlet. I did go to the binge yesterday. I'm not going to do a haul of that only because it's literally all bread and butter. I got some American Eagle. I didn't get that much at all. I paid $20. So I probably got about 15 pounds, which is not that much for me. I normally spend about 40 when I show you guys the hauls. So I figured I would show you this dollar day instead. But this is a Banana Republic that I did haul from the Goodwill outlet yesterday. And like I said, it does. it's called a shirt dress and it's not my cup of tea. But guys, when I was in JCPenney's and saw all of these colors, I thought jackpot. This is, yeah, it's just a size 14, so it's a great dress. The problem with this dress, and maybe you guys can help me out, it does not photograph well. Like in the middle here, there's like a cutoff, and I think that's what makes it a shirt dress. And then it also has pleating down here, and I did include it in the title. We listed this last night. Um, but the, it doesn't show in the photo at all. Sticking with my on trend colors, these are a pair of burgundy pants and they are Ava and Viv from Target. The reason why they are awesome is because they are, come on, size 24. So these will sell for sure. I love these. So I'm actually gonna try these ones on. They're kind of like a red burgundy. They are just from Old Navy, so if they don't fit me, I will just throw them in the pile to sell. But again, very fall, very nice. This is a sweater that, it's just apartment nine, but I thought it was great for the fourth quarter. You see the sequins on it, it's really pretty. It has like some sparklies, so I thought, yeah, let's pick up some sweaters to have for winter time. Picked up this Old Navy, I mean, Old Navy, this Tommy Hilfiger shirt. This is from the 90s, so it can be vintage. It's the old school from like when I was in middle school. It looks kind of faded on camera right now, but I promise you it's not. This will go really well. I know Rally Roots sells a lot of like vintage -y kind of um, Tommy Hilfiger. This is a J. Crew sweater. It's just a very basic preppy sweater thought it was nice and again it was green wired so my store doesn't go by this it actually goes by this so yeah everything was a dollar i'm so happy i'm able to be a part of that club now that gets a dollar day at their goodwill so awesome this is just a eddie bauer but i thought it goes into that like old school like thick warm sweater like I can see a girl wearing this with some nice boyfriend jeans or a nice skinny jean love this sweater I don't know how Eddie Bauer does I know my clients say that they buy Eddie Bauer a lot so I'm curious to see how that does but I bought it just because I think it's kind of old school looking I did happen to get two dresses because they are um green barbed and even if I save it for next summer. But this one is the Abercrombie and Fitch. I think it's so pretty. I've had a few of these in the past and they've sold fairly well. I'm happy this is a medium. I normally find smalls. So very happy about that. This next one that was right next to it on the shelf is a Tommy Bahama, which I did also find a Tommy Bahama tie, like necktie at the binge yesterday. 
yeah, this just kind of looks like that. Which I never find Tommy Bahama at my bins. I know Tommy Bahama is getting kind of played out because everybody wants it now. And also the thrift stores are aware of the brand. So they're hiking up the prices a bunch. But I'll still pick it up because something like that or a necktie. The necktie has martinis on it. I'll insert a picture so you can see it. thought it was pretty cool and I think that it will sell. There's not one like it listed. I found this um, Florida Georgia Line concert t-shirt. I'm in the business now for concert t-shirts. I heard they do really, really well. And it was a green tag, so I figured I would go ahead and pick it up. So yeah, that was pretty cool. It's a size small, which is kind of iffy, but what are you going to do? Rick actually picked this one out. It's just a cute little Old Navy Fox sweater. I thought it was cute. It's a nice size. If it doesn't sell, I can always wear it. I always think about borrowing my inventories clothes but I don't because my luck I'll spill ketchup down the front got this Jordan t-shirt and it's a 4x it's awesome check this out there's a similar similar one no there's the same exact one listed on eBay for $44 right now so I'm pumped about this it's very nice and thick and of course 4x and I did not get this for a dollar I paid full price which was $4.25, but I think that that's a great investment. I mean, I'm definitely gonna get my money back from this bad boy. This shirt here, I'll insert a picture of the comps. I'm pretty sure this was it, but it's called All Saints Extra Large, and I it has these weird like half sleeves, and I really despise doing these kind of shirts, but I was actually watching a guy last night who, all he does is haul these kinds of shirts and I was making a list like he was teaching me so much like even the different Ralph Lauren's like I think it's Ralph Lauren with a purple label is worth like $50 a shirt yeah I'll definitely look out for that this super cute skirt it's just Land's End but it's kind of like a high-waisted like Christmassy kind of skirt so I thought you know what why not let's give it a try especially for a buck Patagonia, which if you look at that tag, it just doesn't look like rich, you know, but when you feel it, it sure does. It's great. Love, love, love this. And for a buck, we're going to get that return big time. So next, guys, we're going to go through the jeans and just to wipe them out and show you guys what I picked up. Just picked up a pair of bullhead. They are kids bullhead and I like to throw kids jeans up on auction and they're little boys. So I figured why not. And then I got these. They're just Chico's denim. They have some studding on the back. Yeah, all the studs are still there, which is good. It's an interesting find. It was a skirt and it's by BB, which I don't really want to haul BB. Let me just back up and show you guys how long this is. Look at that. It's so long. Like if I hold it up, yeah, it comes up to here on me and I'm tall. So I'm excited about this and it has like a cool design and then flares out at the bottom. So I think that's a good find. Got another skirt and this one is Banana Republic and it's just a nice little, it's almost like a, what do they call that? Like a pencil skirt almost. It has a little slit on the back. Got some Ann Taylor Loft corduroys. Again, a lot of these I wouldn't be getting unless they had the, like if it was just a half off day, I wouldn't be picking this up. But because it was a dollar, I'm gonna keep saying that. Okay, these are the limited. They are size zero, but again, you cannot beat that price. Even if they send, sell for 10 bucks plus shipping, that's 10 times my money, so I'm okay with that. Oh, oh no, these are Calvin Klein. They're just some women's Calvin Klein choice distressed jeans. But they had a nice wash. I'm trying to think of, you know, the teenagers that their mom wants to shop on eBay to save a couple dollars. Some Old Navy Originals. These are very tall. They come up to here again. So that's why I picked these up. Now guys, last week I did not do a what sold video. I think between the storms and, you know, with Texas and Florida and everything, my sales were just really down. I'm blaming the storms, but 
I don't know why, but my sales were down. So I didn't want to show just a couple sales, and they weren't the best either. So I figured I would wait and hold off and give you guys a great What Sold Wednesday this week. A pair of American Eagle jeans, which you can never go wrong with. American Eagle are proven to be like my number one seller as of late. I love getting American Eagle jeans, especially the men's American Eagle jeans. These are just some Wrangler, which these are kind of bread and butter at this point too. I actually do sell quite a bit of Wrangler, especially when they're 100% cotton. People just seem to like them. I'm so excited for this Sunday because, like I said, it's the red tag, and there was so many. Rick is actually colorblind, and he kept bringing me over red tags, saying, look at this, look at this. I'm like, babe, it's red. It's not green. It's red. And he really cannot see, like, he can't tell the difference between red and green. It's really crazy. I kept saying, wow, you're really colorblind, because he would look at me like, what do you mean? What do you mean it's red? But yeah, some Gap Boyfriend Cut jeans. Nothing to write home about. Just some quick little flips. There are a pair of Style Big TV. I have to look these up. Big tie maybe. But they felt really nice. The back looks like that. So as always, if you know anything about that, let me know. These are some White Stag and they are size 18. White Stag, every time I list a White Stag, it sells. I just sold a White Stag shirt yesterday, and that was a 3X. Oh, I don't like these kind, but they're new with Tag Dockers, and they were a buck, so I got them. But I don't like dress pants, and it's, it's crazy how... It's crazy how the more you sell, you get to know what you like and what you don't like, especially what you like photographing. Like, I don't like photographing anything black. Work, like career slacks and career shirts. Jeans, I used to loathe. I used to hate doing jeans, but I actually like jeans now. So, Susan, you'll be happy to know that. Got a pair of these American Eagle slacks. And they're a nice big size. And these are women's, I believe. Let me see. Yep, these are women's size 18. So they'll do good. Oh, yeah, this is a dress. This is a J. Crew dress. It's just a green dress. And J. Crew dresses do so well. So maybe not now. I see this more of like a spring dress. But if you go on eBay and you search christmas sweater they were selling all summer so you can't really judge that i do know i did not list any of my coats all winter or jackets and they disappeared all of the listings disappeared it's a huge bummer the the silver lining is that i did need to take updated photos because i'm much better at taking photos now so i'm okay with that this is just a karen scott size eight but it's a skirt and I thought, you know what, why not? I thought it was a cute color. And then now we have some shorts. Got these Hudson shorts. These were not green barbed, but they do super well. Got these for $4. I love getting Hudson um, jeans, shorts, whatever. I love getting Hudson jeans or shorts. And these are just some Gap, like fave chinos kind of shorts just some khakis thought they were good well guys those are the items that i snagged over at my goodwill retail for a buck i'm super excited for this weekend sale if i find anything good i'll be sure to film a video to share it with you guys let me know what you think of those jeans that i had just now let me know if you've heard of them before um yeah i love getting your guys's feedback if you haven't subscribed to my channel i hope that you will i would love to have you have a great week guys i'll see you all in my next video